Bimini, Wikipedia article audio. Bimini slash BMNI slash is the westernmost district of the Bahamas and comprises a chain of islands located about 80 kilometers due east of Miami. Bimini is the closest point in the Bahamas to the mainland United States and approximately 210 kilometers west-northwest of Nassau. The population is 1,988 as of the 2010 census. Bimini has three islands, North Bimini, South Bimini, and East Bimini. The largest islands are North Bimini and South Bimini. The district of Bimini also includes K Sal Bank, more than 100 kilometers further south, which is geographically not a part of the Bimini Islands but a separate unit. North Bimini is about 11 kilometers long and 200 m wide. Its main settlement is Alice Town, a collection of shops, restaurants, and bars on a road known as the King's Highway. The second major road is called Queen's Highway and runs almost the length of the island parallel to King's Highway. Geography History South Bimini houses an airstrip, South Bimini Airport, and offers a quiet alternative to the slow bustle of North Bimini. There is a small community of homes on South Bimini known as Port Royal. For many years, South Bimini tourists were limited to boaters because there were few accommodations other than private homes. Because Bimini is close to Miami, Florida, many American anglers go to the islands by boat to fish or to enjoy the local nightlife. Scuba diving and snorkeling are also popular activities, as there are many shipwrecks in the area, such as the wreck of the SS Sapona which ran aground in 1926 during a hurricane. The top of the ship is exposed to the air while the bottom half is submerged. Parts of the wreck were stripped over the years and some of the wood was used in the construction of the complete Angler Hotel and Bar on North Bimini. Bimini is home to several landmarks said to contain mystical properties of obscure origins. Much of the historical data about these places is speculative in nature, and experts in various fields have opined across the full spectrum of explanation. The most contentious of these sites is the Bimini Road. The first inhabitants on the island were the Lucayans, and the name Bimini means two islands in the Lucayan language. During the period of prohibition in the United States, Bimini was a favorite haven and supply point for the rum running trade. Some claim that the term the real McCoy was applied to the rum provided by William S. McCoy, who used Bimini to transport whiskey to America during the Prohibition, although the phrase predates the Prohibition era it is first recorded in the U.S. in 1908 and the phrase is the subject of numerous fanciful folk etymologies. Chalks International Airlines operated seaplane flights between Miami Harbor and the Bahamas from 1917, so the company was an island institution for generations. As goods on the island were expensive because of shipping costs, many locals used Chalks flights to buy cheaper goods in Florida and take the goods to Bimini. A Grumman Turbo Mallard of Flight 101 was en route to Bimini when it crashed on December 19, 2005, killing all 18 passengers and two crew, at least 11 of the passengers were Bimini residents. Locals on Bimini mourned the dead. The Fountain of Youth On January 13, 2006, one of the most famous establishments in Bimini, the Complete Angler Hotel, was destroyed by fire. The bar is remembered for the photographs and memorabilia of Ernest Hemingway that lined its walls and were lost in the fire, which also took the life of owner Julian Brown. Juan Ponce de Leon and his search for the Fountain of Youth included references to Bimini. 
Arawakan slash or Taino spoke of a land called Bimini where the fountain could be found. Although the location was erroneously associated with the Bahamas, the natives referred to a location in the Gulf of Honduras. Though de Leon's expedition brought him to Florida, the fountain was rumored to exist within the shallow pools of South Bimini. Today there is a small freshwater well with a plaque commemorating the Fountain of Youth, on the road leading to the South Bimini Airport. Endemic Species Found within the brackish mangrove swamp that covers 6 kilometers of the shoreline of North Bimini is the Healing Hole, a pool that lies at the end of a network of winding underground tunnels. During outgoing tides, these channels pump cool, mineral-laden fresh water into the pool. Because this well was carved out of the limestone rock by groundwater thousands of years ago it is especially high in calcium and magnesium. Bimini is home to several unique, endemic, and threatened species. The Bimini boa, protected by Bahamian law, is the largest of the terrestrial reptiles on Bimini. The Bimini amoeba is a very common, fast-moving lizard on the island. The small tooth sawfish is one of the rarest fish in the world, sometimes listed as a critically endangered species by conservation groups. The Bimini Biological Field Station has captured and recorded 13 species of sharks in the shallow waters around Bimini. However, the number of sharks around the island is even higher when considering the sharks of the deep waters off Bimini's western shores. Along with the species featured below, the BBFS has witnessed and recorded captures of shortfin mako sharks, big eye thresher sharks, spiny dogfish, and six gill sharks. Bimini Biological Field Station the Shark Lab is a world-famous facility owned and operated by shark biologist Dr. Samuel Gruber. The Shark Lab offers marine biology internships to people interested in shark research and the conservation of the ocean's ecosystems. It's located on South Bimini Island and contributed a lot of research regarding the lemon shark. Notable Residents Singer Jimmy Buffett spent some time on South Bimini while writing one of his books. Bimini Bay Controversy Ernest Hemingway lived on Bimini from 1935 to 1937, staying at the Complete Angler Hotel. He worked on to have and have not and wrote a few articles, but mostly he fished aboard his boat Pilar trolling the deep blue offshore waters for marlin, tuna, and swordfish. Hemingway was attracted to Bimini by tales of the incredible fishing available in the Gulf Stream, the legendary river of warm water that rushes north past the Bahamas. An Atlantic blue marlin with a mass of 500 pounds caught off Bimini allegedly inspired Hemingway to write The Old Man and the Sea and Islands in the Stream. The Duke of Windsor, as governor of the Bahamas during World War II, visited Bimini. While not a resident of the islands, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. visited in 1964 and worked on his Nobel Peace Prize acceptance speech while there. South Bimini was home to Colonel Joseph C. McKee, the founder of McKee Airlines which was later bought by Eastern Airlines. He built a home on the southern tip of South Bimini. This structure would become the Sunshine Inn and is currently a bar and restaurant, though the hotel was damaged by a hurricane and was subsequently demolished. Among Port Royal's notable residents was Adam Clayton Powell, Jr., who was excluded from the U.S. House of Representatives because of allegations that he misappropriated committee funds for personal use. He stayed in Bimini from January 1967 to April 1969 in self-imposed exile until the Supreme Court ruled that the House had acted unconstitutionally when it excluded Powell, 
a duly elected member. In 1972 Powell died of cancer in Miami. Following his funeral in New York his ashes were taken to Bimini and scattered in the waters surrounding the islands. In May 1987, Colorado Senator Gary Hart's presidential bid was derailed after media reports exposed a relationship with model Donna Rice. A well-known photo of Rice sitting on Hart's lap on one of Bimini's docks was published by the National Enquirer after Hart suspended his presidential campaign. Jody Weech, Miss Commonwealth Bahamas 1992, was from Bimini. She made the top 10 in the Miss World contest in Sun City, South Africa. She received the title Miss World Caribbean. In May 2008 marine conservationist Jean-Michel Cousteau criticized Bimini Bay Resort, calling it a catastrophe and announcing, allowing Bimini Bay to continue with Phase 2 would certainly strip this island paradise of its precious natural riches. Over time, visitors and residents alike will suffer the decline of economic, social and environmental prosperity.